doesn't happen. Usually we're traveling an hour and a half or more from one location to the other. It's a nice day. It's a little overcast, but it's still early in the morning. It's a little dusty, but the wind. Is... Sorry, <laughs> but I gotta keep the radio on. I'm, I have to listen. I have to hear everything they're saying because you never. You never know uh, if they're calling you. Oh my God! Uh, Please excuse if a cuss word happens to come across. These guys are all really, really good guys. Uh, but they do have pot potty mouths now and again. So uh, I'll try to figure out how to bleep it out. Uh, if I can. Directly across from the existing location, just on the other side of the highway. I can put you out there, man. It's a little chilly out, but it's not bad. Well, the orange and white ribbon. It's right next to the highway. Uh, everybody else is in... Okay, I'm on it. Parkas and... Uh, <laughs> parkas and hoodies and... Uh, with those knit caps and stuff. And I'm just in a work shirt. So I'm... Uh, I'm used to the cold, so this doesn't, uh, this doesn't bother me. Right, sir? I've actually followed one, one of our drivers. It just so happened I'm following him, but, uh, a lot of times we follow each other, especially if somebody's been there before, or, like in my case, um, I follow follow somebody that's from the area because literally uh, Google works sometimes Google Maps but it's not something that you can rely on so uh, I've gotten uh, you know it's taken me the wrong area so I uh, gotta be really careful hold on a minute uh, in his forklift so I can't really call him to see which side he wants to park on. I don't know if he needs, it doesn't look like he's got pipe stands. Rolando, I gotta get on the other side of you or something because you've got the pipe stands so he'll have to unload you first. behind you. Is there enough room on the other side? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, so see, we, you know, this is, we all got to kind of work together. Now, with what I've got on my trailer, I've got pipes and a bunch of miscellaneous. Now, Rolando, uh, next to me, he's got these pipe stands, and I'll show you. Um, and that's what the pipes go on. So, um, he needs, the forklift driver needs to unload him first. Otherwise, there'd be no place for the, the pipes to go. So while nobody's here, here comes the forklift driver, but while nobody's here, I'll, I'll show you what I've got and uh, 
which is a really, really light load because they didn't, they're just starting to take everything off. So you can see I've just got a little bit of pipe, nothing major. Only went a mile, right, not even a mile, right across the road, stayed on dirt road. Uh, Rolando? Do you care if you're videoed? Okay, and so Rolando here, uh, these things right here, these uh, racks, those are what the pipes. Do you care if you're on YouTube? Oh, look at him. We have the sweetest guys that work, work with us. And so these pipe stands have got to come off first so that pipe can be put on them. And, uh, you know, they just load us up with all kinds of stuff. We don't, I don't know, these guys probably know what they've got, but I don't. So, all righty, let's see. I go around and unstrap my load. Get back to you. Okay, now we're headed back. I got unloaded. Forklift unloaded me. Like I said, I didn't have very much. Um, oops, I think you're crooked. This is going to be... Well, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of one way or the other. When we have these little short runs, sometimes 